We are family. My aunt, 83 years old, smoker, drinker, was COVID positive two weeks ago. News Talk Shit episode 43. This is your boy Trump. Uh, I'm here with TJ, the chilled one today, because this is probably the most common sense name that he's actually ever used. Because I, it's in the daytime and I feel kind of mellow with that. You know? Yeah, I know why you mellow. But that's a whole nother story. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> TJ is a he's a smoker too, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm a smoker, but I'm, I've been pretty fucking sober as of late. I, you know, I ain't been doing shit. I'm chilling. I'm enjoying the motherfucking Corona apocalypse. Your boy is, is it ain't this shit ain't that serious. You know, your boy is uh, has been taking up CBD oil. Some CBD oil? You're not gonna get high off that. I do. Cause I'm not a smoker like y'all. I mean, you getting high because when you get like CBD oil, it's like with weed, you have 60, 40 TAC to CBD, mm-hmm. right? In right. the marijuana. But when you get CBD oil, they extract all the CBD oil out of the plant. It's very little TAC in it. I mean, it, yeah, it's very little TAC in it. So you really not consuming the weed you consuming the medicinal properties mm-hmm. with very little thc which is the psychoactive psych- psychedelic portion of, of the the shit that makes you high yeah. right you get very little so that's what you I had mean. a vaporizer with some thc oil nigga you will be in that bed sleep <laughs> straight up this calms me that this 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 helps with anxiety this calms me down what fucking anxiety you got not, I just have you know, fuck, not anxiety, but anxiety. But it, it calms me down. It keeps me cool and chill and relaxed, and and I go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So this is not for you. Of course, you're a smoker. Of course, you're not. This you, you you're going to feel zero from this. But me, I feel something. Mm. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you this: What's your thought on a lockdown, shut in? Sick and shut in, Corona apocalypse. What's your thoughts on it now? Because I see you be posting some wild shit, and I just be, I just shake my head. Well, you can shake your head all you want to. Uh, everybody else can do all this. Number one, um, we can't stay in the house forever. If people are staying in the house because they want it to get down to zero, we will never go do anything ever again. That virus is here to stay. It ain't going nowhere no time soon. And we have to live. And those who are at high risk stay home. That's how I look Wait at now, it. Now you gonna say we got it, we can't stay in forever, but the people that are high risk stay home. The people who are high risk at, at it's, it's like it's like walking outside in a high crime, very high crime neighborhood at four in the morning. You're not gonna do it, right? No. So so basically, if you know this is the type of thing that can affect you and you're more susceptible to it than anybody else you should take the extra precautions okay that's so what, what i'm saying what what i'm saying is what you're saying ain't well thought out because you're saying it it's and a lot of other people it. It. because there's a factor that you're missing What's you don't mean? have to go out and socialize with people to get the shit so, so just because you're staying in the house doesn't mean you won't get it Because if you have somebody in your household that's going out and socializing and they're not high risk and they contract it, they can come and give it to you. So what what, so what's it? So everybody in your household should stay the fucking house. Right now? I mean, for good, period. No, it's not a matter of staying in the house. It's a matter of going forward. You have to. Okay, let's just let's just put let's because we're not a politically correct place. Entitled white people. Is going to cause this virus not to go away. Entitled white people and ignorant ass non white people are going to be the reason that this don't go away. When you got motherfuckers going into goddamn stores and saying, I'm not going to wear a mask because when I woke up, I was in America and I'm free. <laughs> that type of shit is going to be the reason. I was at Costco yesterday and I saw an older black lady. With a mask on, she's driving. Mm-hmm. 
One hand, she got on a glove driving her car. The mm -hmm. other hand is ungloved. Now you taking your glove and cross contaminated everything in the store. Their hand is protected, but that same glove hand with those same contaminants on it on your steering wheel. The steering wheel that you touch it with the other hand. Now this is the shit. This is the reason why. This is the reason why the why it won't the the curve is not going to flatten. We're going to continue to see spikes. And this is why it's not going to go away because you have entitled ass white people who are not going to be told what to do. Well, here's the thing. I agree when you're around people, especially at this particular point in time, and you go out, you have to you have to take precautions. You you have to do your But everybody you is. To, you have to wear if you have to go in the store and they they're telling you to wear a mask. Number one, they shouldn't even let you in there if you don't have a mask on anyway. So they're not enforcing it. And number two, Common sense will tell you now. I'm not saying I believe the virus is real, I know it kills and all that, but I'm what I'm and I'm gonna take my precautions. I'm gonna wear my mask when I should wear my mask in the store. I'm gonna do my social distancing and all that. But as far as some of the other things, I think at some point we have to live with this virus. That's just we we all have to in, inside, outside, wherever we all have to. But that's a very vague statement is saying live with this virus. Take precaution. Everybody's not going to take precaution. One thing about this virus that I've learned, and I'm no scientist, I'm no biochemist, I'm, I'm, I'm none of that, but I'm engaged to somebody that works in the healthcare field who's working at a, 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 a healthcare facility right now mm. where they just gotten overrun with patients that has it. Mm. This virus is highly contagious, mm -hmm. period. And when, when you have, like I said, there's a video on YouTube on, on World Star right now. This white man talking about he don't he he's not he's upset because nobody is letting him come to Costco because he don't have a mask on. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a Amer I'm an American, I have freedom. You got people in Michigan armed at the state house, no mask on but a bunch of fucking guns. They that virus don't give a fuck about your AR-15. Talking about open back up the state. These people are congregating amongst each other. It, with a highly infectious disease amongst them, spreading to everybody and taking it back home to the people you said earlier who mm -hmm. are at high risk. And then you have the people who are ignorant, who either aren't getting the right information, getting the information and don't know how to process the information, or believe in whatever stupid fucking conspiracy theory that comes across their desk. That's why I'm looking at this lady yesterday, driving in her car with a mask on, one glove on the, on one hand, no glove on the other hand, and <laughs> she touching the steering wheel. That's stupid. Now why you why even wear the glove then? Why had the glove? On? Why even wear a glove? It's safer, actually safer without the glove. It's it's safer without the glove because you're more conscious about you wash your hands, wash your hands. hands. You know what I'm saying? Now, but let me ask you this then, since every you know all this stuff is going on. And this virus is highly contagious, et cetera, et cetera. And, and no matter what happens, we cannot control everybody because I understand we have to take precautions, but you can't control every fucking human being. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. So what do you think we should do then? Well, I've said it from the beginning and it wasn't well liked. We should shut everything down. Everything. We okay, should not. At least 45 to 60 days. I mean, shut everything down. I'm talking about grocery stores. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think we should have shut the gas pumps off. I think we should have disabled the credit cards so when nobody been motherfucking shopping on Amazon like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's me. I think we should have closed down the fast food restaurants and forced people to fucking cook. If you're going to give them food stamps in certain states, if you're going to give them stimulus payments, have them go to the grocery store and fucking cook. How can, but the grocery store shut down. No, no, I didn't say I, I didn't say shut down the grocery store. That's what I said. The only thing that needs to be open was the grocery stores. Because no, nobody is shut down everything. You I'm saying shut everything. down everything because here's the thing. Number one, nobody is congregating in grocery stores. People go in the grocery stores to get what they get and leave. Have you been to fucking Walmart? Do you know any Walmart work? I did go to Walmart a couple of weeks ago, yeah. You have motherfuckers that's going to Walmart every day just to congregate and walk around. 
It's not fucking necessary. Well, I think I think well, here's where they fucked up when it when it first happened. I agree with you. I think at the beginning everything should have been shut down. However, they incited a panic. They fear mongered, and you had everybody going to the grocery store at one time instead of kind of doing it in an orderly type of way. You can't, you can't, say, you can't say it was fear mongering when it was a legitimate reason okay, to be but, fearful. Well, then that's where planning comes into point. Okay, this this is like like this is. You gotta remember, in the three month period, we've had over almost one point three million people get affected. That's not fear mongering. Well, that's, that's that's it. but the more you test, the more people are going to show up infected. They didn't have tests, but now they do. So that's why the numbers are going up because they have tests now. Okay, but the numbers are going up because it's they not going up because all oh, the states are opening back up. That's part of it, but more so, we we didn't have hardly any tests back then. So when you get more tests and you test more people, then you can see okay. More people have it. Would you agree that this disease has the potential to wipe out a generation? I don't think so. You already said that people, okay, the people, the, the people that are susceptible to it, elderly people, people who have respiratory illnesses. Smokers. Okay, well then, and people that, who are that, diabetic. Wait a minute. People who are overweight. People who have high blood pressure. People who have certain heart diseases. That in itself is an entire generation that, if they get infected, can die. Here's another thing about the infection. There are a lot of older people, and I don't know what's going on with this, but there are a lot of older people who are not around people, and they're still getting infected. Now, there are older people who my aunts, my aunts, my aunts, and I don't put this on social media because, quite frankly, I don't give a fuck and telling everybody my information, but I'll put it out there now. My aunt, 83 years old, smoker, drinker, was COVID positive two weeks ago. They took her to Inova. They gave her hydroxychloroquine, chloride, whatever you call that shit. Two days later, she's fine. They went back, tested her two more times to make sure it was gone. Gone. And that's just one example. I'm not saying that's what everybody's different. Everybody's right. Different. Everybody's different. And when people start talking about the hydroxychloroquine, the fact of the matter is that's not proven. That it's not proven that that's the cause of people getting better from the virus. Some I'm people, some people get a major case. Some people get a minor case. It could have been, it could have been a, it could have, no. until, until the scientific community says in unison that the hydroxychloroquine works and that's what they're going to use to treat it. But it's been too many case studies that says that it hurts more than it actually helps. And in some cases, it doesn't help at all. If, uh, you know what? This is why I don't like going on looking at cases and all this shit because you'll see one case here that says that's right. More. Then you'll see another case here that hurts more. That's I know right. that for I know that for her, an eighty three, a smoker drinking, and she was, border, she was borderline a severe case because she has shortness of breath. But when it comes to that breath, point, breath, that's breath, that's a problem. Breath. The way she was, the, the virus is not going to affect you like it's going to affect me. Exactly. I have asthmatic issues. I'm I'm overweight. I have I'm a diabetic. I have a fucking lung that's functioning at seventy percent. Mm -hmm. So it's it it may not affect you. Right. But it's going to affect me. True. I wouldn't necessarily say because because it's a lot of stuff that they gave her besides the hydroxychloroquine, the hydrochloroquine, well, whatever that fucking medicine is. They gave her that too. So a motherfucking bottle of saline could have did it. And aspirin could have did it. I mean, that's just something that people say, oh, well, they gave her that. They and gave her, no, because they, I don't, this is from my understanding, at the point she was when they took her into the hospital, they were like, okay, let's, let's, let's give her, you know, that because she's already short as a breath. Next step is a, is a fucking ventilator. You know, they put you on a ventilator. That's basically a wrap. Right. So um, they gave her that, and they monitored her for two days. The day one, the symptoms was down. She still had that fucking call. She could breathe a little better. Day two, she woke next morning. She had hardly any symptoms. And then they said, okay, come back. Quarantine for 14 days. Come back. We're going to test you. We got to test you at least three times to make sure you're good. 
They tested her, tested her again, negative both times. And she was, and they gave, they did give her something. I forgot what my mother said they gave her, but they gave her something and it didn't work because they waited. And then they got to the point where, okay, let's try hydroxychloroquine because that's the last, if, if that don't work, we got to put on the ventilator. It worked. I'm saying, like, like you said, I'm not saying that works for everybody, but in the case of this virus, is don't nobody factually know shit about what can do it or how you get it, what none of that. And uh, why and not take all steps reason, to make sure? That's the all the more reason why I say we can't go out here all willy nilly. Number one, if you shut everything off and you stop people from going in, 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 in the Walmart, if you stop essential workers from having to go to work and deal with patients in and out of a drive through if you stop people from getting on a bus and traveling, I saw a picture because my sister works for the Transit Authority. It's a picture where they got all of the front of the bus blocked off uh -huh. and everybody congregating in the back behind where the back door is. It's like a, a gate there. So they get on up and off the bus from the back door and everybody sits in the back. The only thing you did was you made all, one person that went among those those people was, was able to affect everybody in the back. And I think that we went real because we have a commander in chief who's a fucking nincompoop that at this point you have entitled white people dangerous. Entitled white people and ignorant non-white people this virus is not going anywhere anytime soon. Like you said, the virus is here. But you can't tell people who are high risk to stay home when they got people. Let's say, okay, we're we just going to deal with it now. We're going to, everybody going to have to wear masks, so and so, so and so, so and so. Everybody ain't going to wear no masks. Of course not. So now you're going to send, you're going to tell the people who are highly susceptible to this disease to stay home. But you open up everything back up regularly, and then somebody within the household, somebody might be the mailman. The mailman might grab some mail, put it in the mailbox. Person who's who's high risk, go get the, out of the mailbox. The virus is living on their mail, or the mail was packed and mailed off overnight, or or the, the 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 Amazon was packed and mailed off, and it came to that person's house, and the next thing you know, that person didn't touch it. Now they got it. I mean, we we behind. Well, that, you don't even have to be living with anybody for that shit to happen. Right. This is this is what I'm telling you. If they so, would so, shut all this shit off in the beginning and just say y'all just gonna have to sit down. So 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 let's say you let's go with your scenario. Forty five to sixty days. There's no improvement. Then what? Then we're fucked. Then we just just and that's it. Well, I'm always using the de deductive logic. If you try something and it don't work, you move on to the next thing. But if you don't try something, you can't go in the back door and be like, you know what? We tried half ass so now we're going to fully lock down again. You got 1.3 million people dead already. So now you're going to try to go in the knockdown phase? No. I think at this point right now, we have to accept that until we get a herd immunity, and the only way you get that is, is to me, it is by people got to go out. People got to go out, but people got to also build up the antibodies in their body in order to fight it. If you do that, if you if you not around, if Trump goes out and goes out and try to build herd immunity, and he doesn't, but he comes in contact with somebody with the virus, it could be fatal to him. So you're willing to take that risk, is what you're saying. I'm not saying I'm willing to take that risk, but what I'm what I am saying is that in order to fight, I mean it's it's something that I'm taking a risk by before all this shit happened, I'm taking a risk by going outside anyway. Period. Just just the way shit happens, the way it is. I don't know if I'm gonna get hit by a car. I don't know if I'm and when I drive on the beltway, I'm I, I'm taking a risk. You know what I'm saying? But I fucking got to go. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm also I'm also smart enough to know not to put myself in situations that could that are high, more high risk than another situation right you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day if people are all going to go out we op reopening this shit up there are going to be some dummies it's always like that in life that's just life it's going to be like that long and, after and that's, that's, long that's, after me and you are gone it's going to be like that it's nothing that, we can really that, do about it that's exactly why i said that you have entitled white people and ignorant black people and ignorant hispanics and asians yeah. whatever the case might be 
is going to be the reason this disease doesn't go anywhere. But it's been like that since the beginning of time, bro. And we're going to have ignorant, entitled people of all races, period. That's um, that's that's how it's going to be. Even if they were to say you can't lock shit down, then the next step would martial law. You know, I mean, well, if, you, if you're truly interested, if you it, well, first of all, we have to get someone in comp. We got to get someone competent in charge. Until we get somebody competent in charge, Who you think Joe Biden? I didn't. I didn't say a name, <laughs> but I, I, I can tell you this. He can't even remember what he said three minutes ago. No, but I believe that Joe Biden would be more moved to listen to those in the scientific and the medical community and will take the advice of the scientific and the com medical community and implement policy well, that is you know, influenced by the scientific or medical community than the motherfucker we got who was only motivated by money. Because see, Trump first started in denial. Then he went into, okay, we, we got to fix this shit. Then he found out who was most likely susceptible to die from this shit. More black people was dying from this shit in New York. More people was dying from this shit in Chicago, most people was dying from this shit in California, in Texas, in Florida. So when he found out that more minorities were dying and getting sick behind it because of conditions, medical conditions and pre-existing conditions we have living in the society that we live in, then he said, fuck it, open up the country. We need to make some money. They'll be the sacrificial land. I mean, cause you gotta look, look at the places that really opened up first. Texas, Florida, Miami, <laughs> Texas, Dallas, Houston, Georgia, Atlanta. Even though Illinois shut it down and the mayor shut it down, niggas when niggas was still partying, niggas and motherfuckers in New York was still doing their thing. So, you know, entitled white people, ignorant ass non-white people, are going to be the reason that this disease don't go the way. I ju I'm just. I'm not planning on getting it, but I got some good fucking news. Good, because I need some right now, because this shit is... I got some good news. So, I'm a felon. Oh, you always been one. It was I'm a convicted felon. You know, it's not something that I hide. It's not, it's, it's, it's never it's, been something that held me back, but it did. I lost my gun rights, right? And I was talking to this attorney and this attorney was telling me, I could get your felony conviction lowered to a misdemeanor because what I was charged for is no longer a felony. It ain't been a fe felony in about almost, I got convicted in 99. Mm -hmm. it, ain't been a it ain't been a felony in like 25 years. Oh, yeah. So now he was trying to charge me $5,000 to get it lowered. And I got on the internet yesterday and Maryland just, well, it didn't pass a law. It passed a law about 10 years ago that if your, your felony is older than 15 years, meaning that you had to have been convicted, all probation, mm -hmm. all parole, whatever restriction you got to be, it got to be older than 15 years, then you can get that felony expunged mm. off your record. And if you get, the, get it expunged off your record, I called the state police yesterday. It was like, well, if you get expunged, you can buy your, buy your firearm. Nigga, ask me how much it costs. $500. 30 $30? $30. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. So I got, I, I was, I remember because I told you I had to, I had to, I did some backdoor shit, but anyway, um, you know, or, you know, rifle and all that shit. That's, that's, you can buy that off online that, you know, it's not, it's, that's cool to get. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I had that DUI a couple of years ago, and mm -hmm. one of the things was that I couldn't I couldn't get any type of um, hand weapon until, you know, my probation was out. Because it, it was, it's called uh, probation before judgment. Probation, PBJ. So, and I'm on PBJ until August. After August, I'm off that shit, and I can go ahead and do so. I know what you're talking about. Because I, I was getting ready to get one day, I was like, then I, I, was, I, I said, oh, shit, that's right, I can't. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I know what you're talking about. So... 
I'm promising all you niggas that's been talking shit to me about beating my ass. You better get me now. <laughs> you better get me now because once these 90 days is up and I'm able to buy a firearm, I'm going to be like, like fucking Terminator. I'm going to have so many fucking weapons. You can still get rifle, don't you? You can still get You rifle. can't buy anything as a fella. Right. That's you can't buy. See, with, in Maryland, you can buy a rifle or a shotgun without a shotgun, I mean. handgun license. Oh, okay. You need a handgun license, an HQL car, in order to buy a handgun. But you can walk in the store right now. If you if you don't have any felonies on your record, you can walk into a store right now and um get a shotgun or a rifle. Get a shotgun or a rifle. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, you niggas that's been threatening to beat my ass, I'm just I just want you to know that you probably need to try your hand now because I'm not doing no motherfucking jujitsu and no. Huh. Muay after August and September, I'm going straight to the trunk and I'm popping it. I'm going to give me a gun. I'm going, I'm look, I'm in, in self defense, of course. In self defense, of course. Oh, definitely in self defense. I'm going to buy me a rifle because you can only buy a handgun every 30 days. Hmm. It's going to be one month shotgun, one month rifle, well, one month handgun. That's, that's the one, thing that came up because you know, uh, oh, Angie just got uh, got her license today. Angie, yeah, you know, oh. Angie. she got her, uh, she got uh, her, uh, what's this, her, uh, um, her HQL, uh, Maryland State Police Qualified Handgun Instructor, HQL, like. yeah, yeah, Maryland Qualified Handgun Instructor, instructor. Yeah, I saw her, um, before I unfollow her, I saw her, um, <laughs> well, you had to put that in there before I unfollow, well, I, mean, I, I, I unfollow her because I, I go through phases where. You don't okay. I feel, I feel I don't want to see certain people all the time. I mean, she had an issue with her tires, and I tried to help her find some tires for her car and told her where to go to get them. Yeah, and then I had to let her know. I said, just so you know, this is me helping you get tires. Mm -hmm. This wasn't me trying to holler at you. So I don't want you to give anybody the impression. I told her this. In fact, I'm gonna screenshot it to you. I don't want you giving nobody the, the impression. That I was trying to holler at you. This was just me trying to help you get some ties. I'm being helpful because I used to work. Shit, one of re the reason I got a fucking felony was back when I worked selling ties. I was an assistant manager oh, at NCB, but that's another story. But I just wanted to let her know I don't want no confusion because you know I know how you some of you bitches can be. If a man is doing anything that isn't remotely even flattering, y'all will misinterpret that for your ego to say that he to holler at me. He's doing this because he wants I'm to holler not. at me. It's I'm like, yo, can we? Can I just? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I would fuck shit out of you, but 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 I, I mean, if you let me, but I'm not. You know, I'm not doing this because of that. Yeah, it's. To, it, I had. I had this. I, she was like, boy, boy, shut up. Yeah, but I'm dead serious. Yeah. I need to put this on the record because I don't want you going around thinking that I was trying to smash. I just, I absolutely was not. All of them think that way. I don't know why the fuck. I'm like, yo, I can't just say hi to you or text you and say what's up without you thinking I'm trying to fuck. Or, 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 or try to, hey, let's go out tonight. Let's let's do this without you thinking I'm trying to fuck. I mean, at the end of the day, if, if I fuck, I fuck. But it's not something that I'm out here just trying to do. Or I, you could, if I was trying to fuck you, you would know. You know what I'm saying? That, that, mm -hmm. yeah, you would know if I was trying to fuck you. You, right. you, would, you would know. You know what I'm saying? But. I got to the point now in the past couple of weeks is doing this quote unquote quarantine that I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not having any more bitch friends. And when I say bitch friends, I'm not trying to have any more female friends. I'm like, yo, either we got something going on or I ain't talking to you. Right. It's 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 really, really it's wasting my time, dog. It's it's it, welcome to the forties is all I can say. Well, I'm starting to see it now. I think I had an opinion. In your 20s and your 30s, excuse me on that chase. Yeah. Your 40s, I like, 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 no, I don't give a fuck if I ain't fucking two weeks. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, I got my peace of mind. I got my money. And I'm like, you know, if 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 any of them want you, they will hit they will hit you. This is exactly why I'm getting married in two months, man. I, I, I can't do it no more. I'm done with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, the hitting them. Let's go out. Let's do this. Let's do this. Spend, you spending your money, you spending your time, and wasting your yeah. resources. Hey, my all, these, 
Oh, all they're doing is using you one day, and then the next day they're gonna take the next phone call. They're gonna take the next phone call. They're gonna go out with the next dude or whatever, and then the, or, or or they're gonna hang out with you this day and just for fun, and because they ain't got nothing to do with. Then the next day, the dude who really getting the pussy, he's the one that's gonna come over and fucking like. He ain't gonna do. It. Here's what you have to do. You have to complete the circle, though, my G. You gotta go in your phone. You gotta delete the text and the stream. You gotta that's delete the that's phone. That's the reason I changed my phone number, dog. You delete the phone numbers. I did, I did because that because if not, one day you get tempted to call. I, I had one shorty. I'm trying to smash real bad, real fucking bad, yo. And all this bitch kept doing was she'll send me motherfucking nasty pictures, mm -hmm. nasty videos. I send her nasty something, and then she'll go quiet. After two or three times, I realized this bitch was just using me to get a nut off. Yeah. So now the bitch hit me up. New phone, who this? I don't got your number no more. Mm -hmm. And they got an attitude about it, but I'm like, I can't play that. I can't keep playing that game. Look, I'm here, man. I'm I'm so happy I'm about to be out of the game in two months. I'm so happy. In fact, yeah, but you got see, you still got two months to go. I look, I'm look, I'm gonna tell you right now, if one of these motherfucking counties open up where we can go get a license. I'm going to do it in the motherfuckers, the courthouse, and we'll just have a ceremony when it's set at the same time if we're able to get out of the country. It but might happen because I don't see the country opening up for travel outside the country no time soon. I'm, I'm Unless you want to go down to Miami and go to Ocean City, I'm telling you something. Get it done in Ocean City. These motherfucking countries is gonna put the press on the United oh, States. Shit gonna be so cheap. Shit gonna be so cheap. It's already look, cheap. I, look, I got a ticket for my oldest daughter to go to go with us down to Cancun in July. The ticket is $143. Round trip for Round trip. Round trip, yeah. $143. So trust me, I know so what that, you want? this shit is cheap. But they're gonna they're gonna have to open this shit back up, man. They're gonna have to. That's it's gonna have to happen. I like look, look, the stupid look, put it like this. This can be what you uh, uh, some the stupid, the stupid are the ones that's gonna pay, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, I mean, it's my whole thing is I'm not I'm not trying to be stupid toward the whole situation or whatever, but I'm looking at it like it we we it's just gonna have we gonna have to live, and then we just gonna have to live with this shit. And unfortunately, unfortunately, some people are going to die. It might even be whoever it is, but I can't live my life fearing that I'm gonna die. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go ahead and put myself in a purposely put myself in a circumstance and make my risk my chances of dying higher. But I think you know, I think in our country and in our society here in America that one of the things we people always talk about how great America is. America is worse than the rest of the world in a lot of different ways. Oh, please. We'd be here all day naming that shit. Because one thing it has bred in everybody is individual selfishness. True. Italy had the second highest infection rate beside, behind China. Mm -hmm. Italy shut everything down. They had the mother And you saw the difference because yeah. in Venice... Where people take the long boat boat rides in the canals with the people, the water had cleared up so much, yeah, because of the lack of carbon emissions that you could see the bottom of the motherfucking water, and the dolphins were swimming into the channel. Hmm. But they locked it down, they isolated, they tracked everybody that had been infected and who they had been around. They stopped their motherfucking, they stopped their infection rate, and now they've been able to open up the whole country with their guidelines. America can't do that. You know what's funny? They I I, I was I saw something, some documentary online. I, I don't know where I saw that, but I saw it somewhere online. And um in that country and in France and in a couple other countries, if you wanted to go out, you had to actually submit a permission, get permission online to do it. And the, right. where you were going and how long you were going for. We have this misconception or this this thing where we think we free or we've lost some kind of freedom and we we really don't. And that's why I say, you're right. People are going to die. We're going to continue to deal with this disease. This disease is going to spike. Yep. It's going to fucking spike. And it's going to get progressively worse. I, I submit 
by the end of the year, we probably have 3 million people who have died, I mean, and been infected by the disease. And maybe 10% of that will have died from the disease. We have over, we got like, like what, 300,000 people that have died of that disease? In, the in three months? That's a fucking lot. Yep. That's a lot. Yeah. And now that we got the, the medical staff, got the PPE, they got the ventilators, they got the tests. You can identify the test, but whether you catch my catch the disease early with me, or you could catch it later, when they catch it, is it having an effect? Is it having an effect on a recovery rate? It doesn't matter where they catch it. If you're gonna die from it, you're gonna die from it from the moment that you catch it. Yep. If you're gonna recover from it, you're gonna recover from it from the moment that you catch it. Yep. There is no intervention there. The only thing they're trying to do is isolate you away from the general public so you can't affect anybody else. Yeah. But like you said, this disease ain't going away. And it ain't going away because of lack of equity. It, go, it ain't going away because people are fucking stupid. Yeah. But let's let's change another subject. I, I'm 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 in Facebook jail right now. You know what? You know what? Just give up on Facebook. Just get off. The I show. am, man. I, I, you don't know how to control yourself. I, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad. And here's why. It ain't got to be bad. You are a target on their list now. I'm a target on their list. It's, it's 30 days automatic. Here's what happened. But you got like eight pages on there. All of them are in jail. Huh? You got eight pages on there. All of them in jail. All of them jail. All of them connected. They are in jail. <laughs> but I can chat and I can chat in the inbox stuff. <laughs> which is what I normally couldn't do. I could communicate in the inbox. I just can't post. I can't respond to posts. Uh, but here's what here's what set me off. And for those of you who follow our show, know I had a show called um, Streets is Talking, and I had an episode about R. Kelly uh -huh. doing the um, Survivor R. Kelly. And one of my points that I was making was many times the predators of children of women of boys were once victims mm -hmm. and my position was always yes we look at r kelly as r kelly is a predator but we got to look at the fact that he was molested by someone his sister older man whatever the case may be well what came up recently is the rapper lil boosie 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 badass Motherfucker. He went on his live and he ain't really been on since because they've been tearing a hole in his ass. But Boosie said that he got his 11 and 13 year old son and nephew head by a grown woman, a grown woman that he was fucking because he was going to get him right. He was going to raise him right. And people lost their collective shit. Now, I can only speak for, for the black community here in the United States, particularly African-American community. We're completely fucked up. <laughs> and I was on a young lady's page, which I should have known better because she's a man-hating motherfucker. But a lot of dudes were saying that they didn't see anything that was wrong with it. Uh -huh. Hold on, my um, battery about to go dead. Don't go nowhere. Gotta go get my chart. God damn this battery goes that. This man, this man, his battery about to go dead because he's been watching so much porn on his laptop. You know what I'm saying? That the battery going dead. You should know how much your battery going. I hope this is not a Mac. Shut the fuck up. I hope this is not a Mac, nigga. It is a Mac. Because I my uh, it was too late. I I couldn't cancel my order, so the shit is coming Saturday. Well, I mean, I probably gotta get a new battery for the motherfucker. I've been wearing this bitch up. I got a Mac. The order was, it was too late to cancel the order, so my Mac is coming Saturday. You ordered it from, from Apple? No, I ordered it on uh, Best Buy. Oh, okay. Yeah, Best Buy sending it. Uh, so it's the, the newer model. It's an IG, it's an i5. I got the 512 gigabytes, 16, 16 RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, that's just going to last me for another 10 years. It better. All the money I'm paying for that motherfucker. <laughs> Hold on, this motherfucker plug ain't working. God damn it. Just shut, shut the fuck up. Now the plug ain't working. I'm glad I ain't I'm glad I ain't getting my the plug from you as far as getting that damn uh uh, uh map from them from that motherfucking site. Jesus Christ. This motherfucker is not charging. Mm, mm, mm. You better call out. 
No, I ain't gonna call Apple. Yeah, this motherfucker better start charging this goddamn. Oh, there you go. So, back to what I was saying. Hold on, this is CBS. Hello. <coughs> this is that ghetto shit. The motherfuckers take calls in the middle of a live broadcast. Why is my window open? Somebody heard what you said earlier. Oh. Ninety days, they coming to get your ass. So here's the deal. A lot of dudes were saying that I don't see nothing was wrong with it. Um, you know, if it was me, you know, I had sex with a, with a grown woman when I was 14 or when I was 15. And the women were getting this sense because these men weren't saying that it was something wrong with it. And they kept tagging me like, see, see, see. And I'm like, look, you're dealing with a situation right now that's no different from when Women were dealing, dealing with our defendant R. Kelly saying that, you know, when I was in high school, I was messing with a grown, grown man. I was in a relationship with a grown man. He didn't know I was 15. No, bitch. Uh, 25, 26, 27 year old man knows you're 15 if he's picking you up from high school. Yeah. You weren't in a relationship. You were being molested. And a lot of times these men don't want to accept that, hey, I was molested or, hey, I was raped because it's basically rape when a grown woman fucks with a 13 or 14 year old. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. How come that don't get the same flat? That rape, rape is not about sex. Rape is about power. And no right. man, no grown man wants to say that a woman had power over him sexually. No man wants to say that. We want to look at ourselves as conquerors. And the women were so mad at Boosie. And I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all mad at Boosie. Y'all mad at the men. I said, number one. This sounds to me like victim shaming. Ain't this victim shaming? When you all are telling all these men they stupid because they've been, they've been raped and they won't say they're raped. I said, that's number one. I say, number two, Boosie is an asshole. Number one, because he was stupid enough to admit that shit on camera. Mm -hmm. And number two, you had these little boys violate because at the end of the day, they violate. They violate. I said, well, why isn't it you all as mad about this grown woman that molested not one, but two underage boys? Mm -hmm. Y'all not as mad. We are mad as her. But Boosie, no, 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 no. I said, because you see all those men that are saying that they had a sexual contact with a grown woman when they was children? I said, this is why you all should shut the fuck up going in on that rape shit. I said, because I don't know. I know every man that I know has either A, has sexual contact with an adult woman when he was an underage minor, or that person knows someone that did it. So if you all are that fucking offended about rape, Mm -hmm. Being raped among black boys that are raped by black women are just as high as black girls being raped or molested by adult black men. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. rape and child molestation is not something that black women seem to feel. I mean, they shouldn't try to monopolize mm -hmm. as their own. Rape and child molestation is a problem in the African-American community. The only difference between both parties is black men don't see it as rape generally. They don't see it as molestation. But you got to be a sick bitch to want to fuck with an underage child. And what I said that got me kicked off Facebook was black women are fucking rapists. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. You know that was gonna get you kicked off. Oh yeah, I got kicked right off after that. I got kicked right off after. That. <laughs> so 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 what? So Facebook got to see it, or somebody got to report it, and then they see. No, it. Facebook don't. When you say such as such, and you classify a person or class, oh, or, it, it has to face you. or fat people are are gross. When oh. you say some shit like that, there's an algorithm in Facebook that kicks you off because it's offensive language. It's something that's been commonly reported. So. They put it in their little box, and when you type it in and you hit enter, it runs it through that goddamn database, and they block you. But but it's like, how the fuck can you say you mad at Boosie? I'm, I mean, you know who should be most mad at Boosie? The mothers of those children. Yeah. But society as a whole 
need the one to find this bitch who took money to fuck with these little boys and drag her out the house, pour gasoline on that bitch and set her on fire. Uh -uh. You're taking boys' innocence away. If Boosie would have said, I paid this girl, mm -hmm. this 14 or this 15 year old girl, to have sex with my boys, or they got these little girls, and I let them stay at the house, and I leave, and they get them some, and I come back home, I would have felt a little better about that. Then you, you know, I could have accepted that a little better. But now you're saying you got some grown bitch out here who, for money, so, and with the dudes, I was asking, okay, well, how young is too young? How young is too young for a woman above 18 and above to be fucking with a boy? How young, how young is too young for you? Well, six, it's, it's, really not, it's not a badge of honor for a man oh. because if you're 14 or 15 and some 19, 18 up your old girl takes advantage of you and has sex with you, that wasn't because of you. You ain't had shit to do with that. Women own all the pussy in the market. All of it. So if you got some from her, it wasn't nothing that you earned. It's something she told to take advantage of you, motherfucker. You was an easy target. I had sex with my child. I, let me shut up. What? <laughs> let me say, when I was 16, 15 and 16 years old, I had sex with a woman in her 20s. There's a couple of reasons I shouldn't have had sex with her. I'm but, not, I gotta look. Since huh? I was 16, I had sex with a girl who was 28. I, yeah, she was 22, 23 years old, something like that. Well, that, wasn't a, that wasn't me being handsome or nothing. She fucked with a little boy. At the end of the day, she fucked with I a saw her. And but see, uh, at that age, what do we do? We go brag. We don't know no better than it, but we go brag. Like, yeah, man, I did to this grown-ass woman. She was 28. I'm 16. Yeah, you know, you go around trying to press your boys at that age. You know what I'm saying? Right. We don't know. We still... We but still at the end of the day... What the fuck does a 28-year-old fucking woman see in a 16-year-old boy if she ain't sick in the fucking head? Right. So Boosie has caught a lot of hell. They talking about law enforcement is investigating his claim, which they should. They should be, yeah, because he they should. The, the adults, him and the woman, both of them should be under fire right both now. Both of them should be under fire. And that's what I kept saying. I'm like, well, why is it you all aren't as concerned with the identity of this woman? Because if she did it with Boosie's son and his nephew, you think they the first? Mm-hmm. She couldn't they say no. Like, I'm not doing no little kids like that. She could say no. got enough money to make her put cast whatever more she had aside to fuck with little boys. And I think that that's fucking gross. Because hmm. I know, like, me and you having this conversation on the phone, both of us have had sexual contact with women who are adults when we were minors. Oh, yeah. If we were girls, and those women were men, that would be flat out rape. Yep. Drag this motherfucker out, lock him up. So I told him, if you all are going to say that these women, I mean, these boys, mm -hmm. these 15, these 16, these 17 year old boys, um, were conscious enough and aware enough to fuck with these grown women when it ain't a crime, then they need to let R. Kelly out of jail. I was getting ready to say, like, R. Kelly was accused, what, a 15 year old girl, 15, 16. You need to and, let and he caught hell, he's catching hell for that. But this lady here, these little boys younger than the fifteen year old girl, right. and there's no, there's no out, there's no surviving little boozy. But you, but these, but these bitches on Facebook, oh, they, they, you don't, you don't see them posting about it at all. But see, the thing about it is, is that some women, despite what advocacy they think they're trying to represent, some women simply hate men. And I yep. ended up finding out about this young lady. Because every day it's a motherfucking post where she talk about she's being triggered by men and so and so so and so. Come to find out her baby father was a cop hmm. up in Maryland somewhere. I won't say where. And he ended up raping one. He was a serial rapist, a cop. You chose that motherfucker to have kids with him, so you attached to that motherfucker for life. So she she looks like she looks like Annabelle. She looked like Annabelle about it. I'm gonna see. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you a picture of her. I'm gonna see you a picture of her. She looked like fucking Annabelle doll. But it's just it's disturbing to me because motherfuckers are saying you know it's it's not 
It's not an issue. And it is an issue. Is and you should want to fucking know what woman is going around fucking with little boys. I got a friend and her son is a football player. Mm -hmm. He's being recruited, getting ready to go to college. I think this was his senior year. He had signed and everything. So you know how the little young boys are, 16, 17 years old, they stay in the weight room. They starting to look, develop their features, looking like their daddy, getting hell in the face. And when she posts a picture of her son, all the women on her friends with, let's always joking, he's so handsome, he's so fine, he's he get, he gonna be sexy when he grow up. Um, when he turned 18, and she don't say nothing, but I know she's pissed. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you bitches are rapey. You sound rapey. I said, what makes y'all think this woman wants to hear a bunch of women in her peer group mm -hmm. lusting over her baby? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, he's not 18. He's still a fucking minor. Now, that was a female, a, 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 a little girl. That and was a 16 or 17 year old girl and grown men mm -hmm. talking about how she looked when she turned 18. She be a fucking firestorm. It'd be a fucking firestorm. I can't even look at a woman under 30. I can't. No, nah, me neither. Not my that. oldest daughter is 30. That's my cutoff line. If you are not older than my daughter, I can't yeah. fuck with you. My daughter just turned 18 and I can't look at nobody under 30 still, but especially I can't right. look at nobody under the light 30. I'm old enough to be your father. And I don't, and that's the, that's the thing. I, I, I've had this happen before. I had a young lady in my bed, bucket naked. I'm going to show you her pictures. I don't need to see those. I'm giving her a massage. She ain't got a stitch of clothes on. We talking and I'm telling her about my kids. She's like, how old is your oldest daughter? I said, at the time, my daughter was 21. I said, oh, my daughter is, she's like, what month was she born in? I said, oh, she was born September 13th. She's like, oh, I'm three months older than her. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm massaged. She's like, I'm three months older than her. My hand said. <laughs> said can you feel like you massaging your daughter. I'm like, can you put your clothes on? She's like, what? I said, I, I got to get, some, I got to go somewhere. It feel but like you got dressed your daughter. And she left. Now, I ended up still fucking her down the road because she was fucking determined to give me some pussy. But the fact of the matter is when she said that, I'm like, oh, my God, I can only imagine some motherfucker my age giving my butt naked 21 year old daughter a fucking massage. Yep. You don't even want to think about that. Shit. I don't even want to think about this is somebody's baby girl because I got a baby girl this age. Yep. So it's just some women master, they, they can't. To the naked eye, it's, it's hatred of men. It's just a lot of women out here fucking hate men. Okay. And I tend to steer clear of them because I don't want that bad juju yeah. pushed off me. Something's going to happen down the line. They hate men so much. Outside, the bedroom, outside the bedroom, they can't stand men. Have, like, fucking, have sons and are completely fucked up. Well, look, man, that's the end of our show today. Uh, we did a good hour. Well, the next time we will have guests, hopefully, uh, if I talk to them there and talk them into coming on the show. I thought um, you were going to have them same chicks that was on the show the last time. We doing, it's daytime. We, we got we to do that at the night and, and nighttime. We can do another one again this weekend. I ain't, who, where, who, who going anywhere? Well, I ain't going nowhere. But who, I ain't going to motherfucker, man. So, so I mean, we can I, just sent you, I just sent you her picture, man. She's like fucking Annabelle without oh, the we sent it to the new number, not the old number. I sent it to the motherfucker. You just responded to me, nigga. Let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, this, oh, wow. She look like Annabelle without the makeup, don't she? Sure, do. Good lord. Big old eyeballs, man. Right. Fucking nutty as a fruitcake. That's uh, who is that? That's a. Uh... that's the chick. That's the chick that I um, that was saying I got kicked off her page. I mean, I got kicked off Facebook because I'm arguing on the page because she's like, I'm just, I do men are triggering me. You all are disgusting. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Why ain't you yeah, upset? Shut your ass up. I ain't you upset? I mean, you mad because these dudes are saying they're cool with it, but you're not upset with these dudes, with the women who have molested these dudes. All of these dudes say that they had sex with somebody underage. Now, either you lying about it or it's a common thing because every dude, look, besides me, don't you know a dude that had sex with a woman under when he was underage? Hell yeah. In high school, I know a whole bunch of niggas that did it. We, I, we had a, I had a dude named Reggie. Um, when I went to high school with, he was fucking one of our algebra teachers. I had a friend who was fucking one of the students' mothers. 
And how he, was fucking, he, was fucking, he was fucking one of his classmates' mothers. Uh, oh wow! Yes. Yeah, that's just and, and 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 it was really no secret. Everybody in the fucking school knew it. Yeah. Everybody in the school, well, all of the students knew. It. One one like we was going back to tell the teachers and no shit. But she, she used she used to go home and pick him up from his mama's house. And I'm like, this dude is seven, 16 years old, fucking a grown woman, an adult fucking woman. It's a common thing, and it's something. It, it should be. A, it's 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 a, it's it's a phenomenon, but it happens in the African American community, and it is a common practice. And it's a crime, and it needs to be very cool. For those who are watching us live, I want to tell you that tonight, for the first time ever. I'm going to be DJing live on Instagram. Now, let me explain something to you. I'm going to be there booing my motherfucking ass let me explain. I'm going to block shit out of you. Let me explain something to y'all now. I used to DJ back in like 2010 up to 2012. Uh, I did this old club in D.C. one time called Club 24. Um, for those who are old to see if y'all remember that. Um, but it's actually Club 24 is now where Stadium was. All right? Stadium is. So I did that. Um, but I, then I stopped. You know, I used to DJ for the different shows on the network at the time because we didn't have all the technology we had there for music and all that shit. Wait, man, how, long ago, how long ago was this? Last time I was DJ was 2012. 2012? Eight years. So you weren't you familiar you, with Serato. You're not familiar with the electronic Look, tape or something. nothing. My turntable, I had it. I had the real, I had CDs that I would have to keep going changing CDs. <laughs> oh, hey, that's, that's what I had back in the day. Okay. So now I'm teaching myself Serato. Literally, the past week, I've been teaching myself Serato. So tonight's mix is called The Worst Mix You Will Ever Hear because it probably will be. So I'm only, I'm only going to do 20 minutes joint. I'm not doing nothing long. I'm doing it short because I know I'm going to fuck up. My transition is going to be fucked up. It's all good. But it comes with practice. So I've been thinking of buying me. I've been thinking of buying me turntables. But Why don't you do it? I'm gonna wait to watch you fuck up tonight, and it's gonna kill my motherfucking desire. <laughs> good, then good, then let it kill your desire. So if you follow me at the, the Good Trump on Instagram, you will see me around eleven o'clock tonight. DJ and I'm gonna I gotta make sure my sound sound good because I don't want so a lot of DJs be on Instagram sounding fucked up because they putting the shit up to their speakers. No, I got the equipment that I can come through clear like my boy D nice, you know, saying no way on his level. But so, uh so what 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 DJ equipment should I buy if I buy it? If you start if you don't remember this shit, start with something like, like a pioneer pioneer controller. Serato is basically you can get Serato light for free. Serato is the, the program, the software that's the program. Then you gonna want to get a controller. Controllers are as cheap as a is ninety nine dollars. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at them right now. You know, say to start out, you can get like a new Mox party controller for ninety nine dollars. I got this Pioneer on for two fifty because I am familiar with the controllers. I'm not familiar with the fucking Serato. No, that shit. So, That's gonna be fucking hilarious. So tonight, eleven o'clock, I'm gonna get. If it get too bad, I'm gonna just cut it off. That's what. It is. <laughs> I'm being there. Boo. And I'm gonna block the shit out of you, and then I'll unblock you after the mix. Is Why? Up. Well, fuck, I'm just trying to put you, you know, we'll I don't see. want you to be out there all fucked up in the streets. We're gonna, we gonna see tonight, man. We're gonna see tonight, 11 o'clock. I'm gonna make sure I drink I'm a lot about of water. Order me a motherfucking controller right now. Go ahead, bro. Teach, teach yourself. You got a Mac, so you good to go. Yeah, I got a Mac. I'm gonna be all on that shit. Man, this, I'm using my HP tonight. So if y'all hear some little, then that's the HP. But Good God Almighty. Night at 11 o'clock. Thank y'all for tuning Night in. Night at 11 o'clock. Thank y'all for fucking tuning in. We post episode 44. The next time we will have some ladies on, I promise you, whatever the next time is. Maybe we can do something again Sunday. We'll see if I ain't got no ass over here, which I doubt it. Yeah, um, you ain't gonna have no ass over there. We already know that. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, that's by choice. I've kind of chilled off ass. Here you go. So... We'll see y'all the next time. Dudes talk shit. Episode forty four is in the books. 